Let me ask you this. Joe Biden last year said that Xi Jinping was a dictator. Do you agree with Joe Biden? Is Xi Jinping a dictator? Senator, I, I'm not going to comment on any world leaders. What? what? Why won't you answer these very simple questions? Senator, it's not appropriate for me scared? as a businessman to comment on world leaders. Are you scared that you'll lose your job if you say anything about negative about the Chinese Communist Party? I disagree with that. You will are find you content that, that is critical of China on our platform. The next time you go on, are you scared that you'll be arrested and disappear the next time you go to mainland China? I'm here to talk about TikTok. I think... Have I, you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I served my nation I'm in asked, Singapore. I, no, I, I did not. Do you have a Singaporean passport? Yes, and I served my military for two, two and a half years in Singapore. Do you have any other? Do you have any other passports from any other nations? No, Senator. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, okay. I'm Singaporean. Is the Chinese government committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Actually, Senator, I talk mainly about my company, and I'm yes, here to yes talk or, about what yes TikTok no. does. Yes or no? You're here. We to Prior to today's hearing, did anyone affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party discuss this hearing with you or anyone else on TikTok senior management? Uh, Congressman, since I've been CEO of this company, I've not had any discussions with Chinese government officials. So what, but, but what about the Chinese Communist Party itself? Have any of those officials discussed this with you? Like I said, I have not had any discussion with Chinese government officials. I don't know the political affiliation of everybody I speak to, so I can't verify the statement. Senate rule didn't work very well, but uh, we're going to. I'll try to give additional time on the other side as well. Senator Cornyn. There's no question that your platforms are very popular, um, but we know that uh, while here in the United States we have an open society and uh, free exchange of information, that there are authoritarian governments, there are criminals who will use your platforms for the sale of drugs, for sex, for extortion, and the like. And um, Mr. Chu, I think your company is uh, unique among the ones represented here today because of its uh, ownership uh, by ByteDance, a uh, Chinese company. And I know there have been some steps that you've taken uh, to uh, wall off the data collected here in the United States. But the fact of the matter is that under Chinese law and Chinese national intelligence laws, all information accumulated by companies in the People's Republic of China are required to be shared 
with the Chinese intelligence services. Um, ByteDance, uh, the initial release of TikTok, I understand, was 2016. Uh, these efforts that you made with Oracle under the so-called Project Texas to wall off the U.S. data was in 2021 and apparently allegedly fully walled off in March of 23. What happened to all of the data that TikTok collected before that? Senator, thank you. From, you Amer from American users. Understand. Um, TikTok is owned by ByteDance, which is majority owned by global investors, and we have three Americans on the board out of five. Um, you are right in pointing out that over the last three years, we have spent billions of dollars building out Project Texas, which is a plan that is unprecedented in our industry, the wall off, firewall off, protected U.S. data from the rest of our staff. And I'm, we asking, also and I'm asking about all of the data that you collected prior to that, that event. Uh, yes, Senator. We have started a data deletion plan. I talked about this a year ago. We have finished the first phase of data deletion through our data centers outside of the Oracle cloud infrastructure. And we're beginning phase two, where we will not only delete from the data centers, we will hire a third party to verify that work. And then we will go into, you know, for example, employees uh, uh, working laptops to delete that as well. Was all of the data collected by TikTok prior to Project Texas shared with the Chinese government uh, pursuant to the national intelligence laws of that country? Senator, we have not been asked for any data by the Chinese government, and we have never provided it. Your company is unique, again, among the, uh, the ones represented here today because you're currently undergoing review by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. Is that correct? Senator, yes, there are ongoing discussions, uh, yeah. and a lot of our Project Texas work is informed by the, year, the discussions with many agencies under the CFIUS umbrella. Well, CFIUS is designed specifically to review foreign investments in the United States for national security risks, correct? Yes, I believe so. And your company is currently being reviewed by this interagency committee of the, at the Treasury Department for potential national security risks. Uh, Senator, this uh, review is on a acquisition of Musical.ly, which is an acquisition that was done many years ago. I mean, is this a casual conversation, or, or are you actually uh, providing information to the Treasury Department about your, how your, your platform operates um, for evaluating a potential national security risk? Senator, it's been uh, many years across two administrations and a lot of discussions around how our plans are, how our systems work. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of robust discussions about a lot of detail. 63% of teens, I understand, use TikTok. Does that sound about right? I, Senator, I cannot verify that. We know we are popular amongst many age groups. The average age in the U.S. today for our user base is over 30, but we're aware we are popular. And uh, you reside in Singapore with your family, correct? Yes, I, have, uh, I reside in Singapore and I work here in the United States as well. And do your children have access to TikTok in Singapore? Senator, uh, if they lived in the United States, I would give them access to our under 13 experience. My children are below the age of 13. My question is, in Singapore, do they have access to TikTok, or is that restricted by, by uh, domestic law? Uh, we do not have an under-13 experience in Singapore. We have that in the United States. Because we were deemed a mixed audience app, and uh, we, ha we created under-13 experience in response to that. A Wall Street Journal article published yesterday directly contradicts what your company has stated publicly. Um, according to the journal, employees under the Project Texas say that U.S. user data, including user emails, birth date, IP addresses, continue to be shared with ByteDance staff, again, owned by a Chinese company. Do you dispute that? Yes, Senator. There are many things about that article that are inaccurate. Where it gets right is that this is a voluntary uh, project that we built. We spent billions of dollars. There are thousands of employees involved, and it's very difficult because it's unprecedented. Why is, why is it important that uh, the data collected from U.S. users be stored in the United States? 
Uh, Senator, this uh, was a project we built in response to some of the concerns that were raised by members of this committee and others. And that was because of concerns that the data that was stored in China could be accessed by the uh, Chinese Communist Party by an, according to the uh, national intelligence laws, correct? Uh, Senator, we are not the only company that does business, uh, uh, you know, that has Chinese employees, for example. We're not even the only company in this room that hires Chinese nationals. But in order to address some of these concerns, we have moved the data into the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. We built a 2,000-person team to oversee the management of the data based here. We fired, walled it off from the rest of the organization. And then we opened it up to third parties like Oracle, and we will onboard others to give them third-party validation. This is unprecedented access. I, I think we are unique in taking even more steps to protect user data in the United well, States. Well, you've disputed the Wall Street a journal story published yesterday. Uh, are you going to conduct any sort of investigation to see whether there's any truth to uh, to the allegations made in the article, or are you just going to dismiss them outright? Uh, we're not going to dismiss them. So we have ongoing security inspections, not only by our own personnel, but also by third parties to ensure that the system is rigorous and robust. No system that we any one of us can build is perfect. But what we need to do is to make sure that we are always improving it and testing it against bad people who may try to bypass it. And if anyone breaks our policies within our organization, we will take disciplinary action against them. Thanks, Senator Cornyn. Senator Coons? Chairman. Thank you, Senator Rono. Senator Cott. Mr. Chu, let's cut straight to the chase. Is TikTok under the influence of the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator, we are a private business. Okay, so you can see that your parent, ByteDance, is subject to the 2017 national security law, which requires Chinese companies to turn over information to the uh, Chinese government and conceal it from the rest of the world. You can see that, correct? Senator, um, the Chinese no business... Question. You conceded it early. Any company that does, any global business that does business in China has to follow their local okay. laws. Isn't it the case that ByteDance also has an internal Chinese Communist Party committee? Like I said, all businesses that operate in China have to follow their local so, law. So your parent company is subject to the national security law that requires it to answer the party. It has its own internal Chinese Communist Party committee. You answer to that parent company, but you expect us to believe that you're not under the influence of the Chinese Communist Party? I understand this concern, Senator, which is why we built okay, Project yes, Texas. It was a yes or no question. Okay. But you used to work for ByteDance, didn't you? You were the CFO for ByteDance? That is correct, Senator. In April 2021, while you were the CFO... The Chinese Communist Party's China Internet Investment Fund purchased a 1% stake in ByteDance's main Chinese subsidiary, the ByteDance Technology Company. In return for that so-called 1% golden share, the party took one of three board seats at that sub subsidiary company. That's correct, isn't it? It's for the Chinese business. Um, Is that correct? It's for the Chinese that, business, yes. That deal was finalized on April 30th. 2021. Isn't it true that you were appointed the CEO of TikTok of the very next day on May 1, 2021? Well, it's a, a coincidence. It's a coincidence that it you is. were the CFO Senator, that the is. Chinese Communist Party took its golden share in its board seat and the very next day you were appointed the CEO of TikTok? That's a hell of a coincidence. It, it really is, Senator. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. And before uh, ByteDance, you were at a, a Chinese company called Xiaomi, is that correct? Uh, yes, I used to work uh, around the world. Where did, where did you live when you worked at Xiaomi? I lived in China, where like exactly, many experts. Where, where exactly? In Beijing, in China. How many years did you live in Beijing? Uh, Senator, I worked there for about five years. So you lived there for five years? Yes. Isn't it the case that Xiaomi was sanctioned by the United States government in 2021 for being a communist Chinese military company? I'm here to talk about TikTok. I think, I think they then had a lawsuit and it was overturned. I, I can't remember the no, details. No, no. It, it's another it company. It was the Biden administration that reversed those sanctions, just like, by the way, they reversed the terrorist designation on the Houthi te Houthis in Yemen. How's that working out for them? But it was sanctioned as a Chinese communist military company. So you said today, as you often say, that you live in Singapore. Of what nation are you a citizen? Singapore. Are Singapore. you a citizen of any other nation? No, Senator. Have you ever applied for Chinese citizenship? Senator, I served my nation I'm in asked, Singapore. I, no, I, I did not. Do you have a Singaporean passport? Yes, and I served my military for two, two and a half years in Singapore. Do you, have any other, do you have any other passports from any other nations? No, Senator. Your wife is an American citizen. Your children are American citizens. That's have correct. You, have you ever applied for American citizenship? Not, no, not yet. Okay. 
Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm Singaporean. No. Have you ever been associated or affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party? No, Senator. Again, okay. I'm Singaporean. Let me ask you some hopefully simple questions. You said earlier, in response to a question, that what happened at Tiananmen Square in June of 1989 was a massive protest. Did anything else happen in Tiananmen Square? Yes, I think it's well documented. There was a massacre. Uh, there was a, yeah. the indiscriminate slaughter of hundreds or thousands of Chinese citizens. Do you agree with the Trump administration and the Biden administration that the Chinese government is committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Senator, I've said this before. I think it's really important that anyone who cares about this topic or any topic can freely express very themselves simple, on TikTok. It's a very simple question that unites both parties in our country and governments around the world. Is the Chinese government committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Senator, anyone, including, you know, you can come into yes, TikTok sir, yes, and sir, talk yes, about no. this topic I'm asking you, yes, or any no. topic you that matters to you. You are a worldly, to. cosmopolitan, well-educated man who's expressed many opinions on many topics. Is the Chinese government committing genocide against the Uyghur people? Actually, Senator, I talk mainly about my company, and I'm yes, here to yes, talk sir, about what yes, TikTok no. does. Yes or no? You're here, we give, allow... you're here to give testimony that is truthful and honest and complete. Let me ask you this. Joe Biden last year said that Xi Jinping was a dictator. Do you agree with Joe Biden that Xi Jinping a dictator? Senator, I, I'm not going to comment on any world leaders. What, what, why won't you answer these very simple questions? Senator, it's not appropriate for Are me as a businessman to comment on world leaders. Are you scared that you'll lose your job if you say anything about negative about the Chinese Communist Party? I disagree with that. You will Are find you content that, that is critical of China on our platform. The next time you go on? Are you scared that you'll be arrested and disappear the next time you go to mainland China? Senator, I, you will find content that is critical of China and any right. other country freely on TikTok. Okay, okay. Let's, let, let's turn to what TikTok tool of the Chinese Communist Party is doing to America's youth. Does the, uh, does the name Mason Edens ring a bell? Uh, Senator, you may have to give me more specifics, if you don't mind. Yeah, he was a 16-year-old or Kansan. After a breakup in 2022, he went on your platform and searched for things like inspirational quotes and positive affirmations. Instead, he was served up numerous videos glamorizing suicide until he killed himself by gun. What about the name Chase Nasca? Does that ring a bell? Would you mind giving me more details, please? He was a 16-year-old who saw more than a thousand videos on your platform about violence and suicide until he took his own life by stepping in front of a plane or train. Are you aware that his parents, Dean and Michelle, are suing TikTok and ByteDance for pushing their son to take his own life? Uh, yes, I'm aware of that. Okay. Finally, Mr. Chu. Um, has the Federal Trade Commission sued TikTok during the Biden administration? Uh, Senator, I cannot talk about whether there's any are you being, ongoing... Are you currently being sued by the Federal Trade Commission? Uh, Senator, I cannot talk about uh, any potential lawsuits. I didn't whether say they potential, actual. Are you being sued by the Federal Trade Commission? Uh, Senator, I think I've given you my answer. I, I cannot talk about... no. Ms. Yaccarino's company is being sued, I believe. Mr. Zuckerberg's company is being sued, I believe. Yet TikTok, the agent of the Chinese Communist Party, is not being sued by the Biden administration. Are you familiar with uh, the name Christina Kafara? You may have to give me more details. Christina Kafara was a paid advisor to ByteDance, your communist-influenced parent company. She was then hired by the Biden FTC to advise on how to sue Mr. Zuckerberg's company. Senator, Biden is a reports, global company and not a Chinese communist public part, company. Public reports it's owned by global investors. Public reports indicate that your lobbyists visited the White House more than 40 times in 2022. How many times did your company visit, did your company's lobbyists visit the White House last year? I, I don't know that, Senator. Are you, are you aware that the Biden campaign and the D Democratic National Committee is on your platform? They have TikTok accounts? Uh, Senator, we encourage people to come on Which, to create organic content. Which, by the way, they won't, let them, they won't let their staffers use their personal phones. They give them separate phones that they only use TikTok on. We so, encourage everyone to join, including so let, yourself, so, Senator. So all these companies are being sued by the FTC. You're not. The FTC has a former paid advisor, your parent, talking about how they can sue Mr. Zuckerberg's company. Joe Biden's re-election campaign, the Democratic National Committee, is on your platform. Let me ask you, have you or anyone else at TikTok communicated with or coordinated with the Biden administration, the Biden campaign, or the Democratic National Committee to influence the flow of information on your platform? We work with uh, anyone, any creators who want to use our campaign. It's, it's all the same um, process okay, that we so, have. So what we have here, we have a company that's a tool of the Chinese Communist Party that is poisoning the minds of America's children, in some cases driving them to suicide, 
and that at best the Biden administration is taking a pass on, at worst maybe in collaboration with. Thank you, Mr. Chu. Thank you, Senator Cotton. So we're going to take a break now. We're on the second roll call. Members can take advantage of it. They wish the break will last about 10 minutes. Please do your best to return.